Hello and welcome back to another real estate video to all you beautiful Zadio news out there. Hope you guys are doing great. Well, first of all, a great thank you um, for the love and the support you guys give to me. It really makes me happy when I get random phone calls from people who I don't know um, talking about my video, telling me that you um, and XYZ has shared my video with them and they love the insight I give to them. Um, they love the way I share information and just because it's free of cost, and there's um, uh, there's no one giving free advice that's in favor of, of the viewers and in favor of other people out there who's, who, are, who are into uh, buying and selling real estate you know so it really makes me proud and it's just because of you guys the appreciation and the love that I get and it you know you can see that on my face I'm, ext I'm extremely happy I'm always excited when I'm making these videos and you know what I really love sharing these experiences that I have uh, on selling a property or buying a property or a recent experience that I uh, had with someone or a, a, a weekend event that took place and we had this massive discussion on different issues and points so it, it's you know it's an initiative I started a, a year ago where I'd be you know making videos and, and communicating to you guys uh, through videos and voice uh, rather than sending out those long written emails and that really picked up and I started getting a lot of love and appreciation hence the continuation and for sure the 2019 um, the videos that are going to come out are exactly going to be more uh, or, or is it exactly going to be the same or there's going to be a lot more development and a lot more information that needs to be shared because of so many developments that are happening in the real estate market out here in Canada. Well, on that note, I wanted to share with your recent sale of a beautiful townhouse in Richmond Hill um, in the York region that I recently did. Um, so I basically listed one townhouse in Mississauga and I listed one in, in Richmond Hill and apparently the one in Richmond Hill got a lot of exposure and a lot of activity going on it. Um, so it was a beautiful 2,500 square foot or a little bit shy of 2,500 square foot townhouse in Richmond Hill with a two car garage. Um, you know, the frontage was 30 feet, we had 100 and 101 point something feet depth and there was a four bedroom um, it was I mean, it was in an amazing location so I got a lot of exposure and a lot of showings and eventually we ended up getting a an offer which was on a condition so we had sold it conditionally with two with two conditions of course a standard condition which is of course inspection home inspection and the second one was of course financing knowing how tough uh, financing is getting uh, over here but on that note, we also had a clause which was listed. Again, it was not a condition, but a clause that was listed about cannabis. If you remember my previous videos, I've talked, or in a previous video, I've talked about how we should present an offer when we're buying a house, uh, mentioning that cannabis uh, point out there because of the legalization. But however, this property was so conditional and it was amazing. So we had a five day condition Surprisingly, within that five days, the, the buyer wanted to go and view the property again because their parents were actually flying into town and they also wanted to see uh, the property. The parents were coming in from Vancouver. So, as usual, they go down, they see the property. But when they stepped outside, they could smell something which was different. And of course, uh, the buyers were able to tell that this was someone smoking cannabis. That was a great eye opener. It really put them off. They thought that there was something cooking or building up inside the house on their property. And of course, they already had that clause mentioned. And that was something which really was alarming for them. On investigation, they found out that the neighbors were smoking cannabis. And of course, the smell could be, you could smell it, right? Because it's, it's in the open air. Now, we don't know whether the neighbors were growing cannabis, whether they were uh, smoking it inside the house, but we could smell it. Upon investigation, we found out that they were actually smoking cannabis in their backyard around 6.30 in the evening. And of course, when you're smoking, you can tell the difference between a cigarette smoke and cannabis being smoke or, you know, something burning. There's the three different, you can definitely, uh, definitely tell, right? Uh, so I got a phone call right away that the buyers are backing out because they are afraid that there is cannabis being grown around in the neighborhood. Now, you do know that if a property, and I did say that, if a property has a history or is currently growing any sort of substance like cannabis in their backyard, they're allowed to do that as long as they have four plants and it's been legalized. 
So that sort of gives a little bit of a hesitation for buyers, right? That there is some, some substance that's been growing which is illegal initially, now it's legal, but they kind of avoid. But the property in, in subject, the one I was selling, did not have that. It was the neighbors who were smoking it. So on that note, I was completely shocked and that was an eye opener and something to learn from that, hey, whoa, hang on a second. It's not my property, but it could be the neighbors that can also play a big role when it comes to buying and selling properties. So I wanted to share that video, I wanted to share that point with you guys that that though the townhouse sold, uh, but the impact that the neighbors had on the new buyers was, was completely, completely, completely something which I had no idea of. So guys, whenever you're selling a property, remember, Try to make sure that you don't live around neighbors who have actually started. I'm not being biased because now it's legal. I'm not being biased against those who are going to be uh, going to be smoking or growing cannabis. But as a homeowner, I would want. I still would want to avoid buying a house next to somebody who smokes or is growing. And I want to make sure that if my neighbor is growing or smoking, I contact a real estate agent right away to sell my property because that sort of um, uh, uh, thought process that people still have about cannabis and how and the, and the effects it has on people, the effect it will have on the future generation is still there. That stigma is still attached to people's minds. It's gonna take a while. So if any one of you guys have a neighbor who you think is growing or is smoking, Contact a real estate agent, contact me, you know what to do. Give me a call, write me an email, drop me a text. I'm all over the internet, I'm all over, I'm easily accessible. Even in my videos, you'll get my contact details. So give me a call right away, um, you know, so that we can discuss out your options. We could find out what is the best way for you guys to sell your property. And if you guys are thinking about, a brand, if you're thinking about buying a property, make sure you're working with a really good professional real estate agent who thinks um, outside the box who looks at a lot of other things uh, that could benefit you rather than just benefiting himself there are a lot of us out there unfortunately who are just looking for our for our own interest and and I'm sure a lot of you people already know me and have worked with me and know that I always and you can see that all over my testimonials uh, you guys know that I'm more inclined to, to to working for you rather than just for myself and along the way, of course, if I do make money, I want to make money, right? That's what I'm in for it. So having said that, that recent experience that I had was, was an eye-opener, was something which needs to go out there to people, to home sellers, to home buyers. It needs to go out to us real estate agents as well. If you guys are real estate agents who are watching this, guys, you know what? Just advise your clients. Just make sure that you do all your due diligence. And the moment you find out about that thing, just, just you know, just, just, Take a decision right away. In our case, what we had to do was, since the buyers were being put off, since they had the neighbors, so I had to go down, talk to the neighbors, find out the level of uh, of cannabis they had. Was it just recreation they were smoking? Were they really heavy smokers? Were they actually growing something in their backyard? It took me a lot of convincing to the buyers, and I had to I had to take the buyers. Uh, potential buyers to go and meet um, the the neighbors so that they could feel comfortable they could get an so there's a lot of work that needs to be going in there right but there's not everyone who is as comfortable who are who, who are as understanding as the buyers we had on our listing there are all all different types of people out there some of some of them or even I would personally freak out if I if I smelled cannabis around my house right I'd probably be like hey let me just go out and sell that property right away or I'm not gonna buy a property in that neighborhood at all or in that in that specific pocket because I have somebody. So it has it, it does have an effect on children, it does have an effect on you. You know, you're going out, you're coming into your house, you have guests coming into your house. You know what, you're probably okay with it, but there's one fine day you have a party at your house and you have guests that are coming in and they could smell it and they would be like, hey, bro, I mean, excuse me, where do you live? I could smell cannabis, I could smell someone smoking an illegal or well, harmful substance 
and he might not want to come back or she might not want to come back or your friends might not want to come back and socialize with you at your house they probably want to socialize somewhere else yet you're inclined to have you know the effects that could have so on that note i'm not trying to scare you mind you you guys know me well i don't do that i'm not in the market to scare people about their property and you know um and and and, and give them all the flip sides of all these things but again it's something to consider about i highly 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 urge you guys that if you uh, uh, if you if you even sense or if you even feel that your neighbors um, of, of the potential house you're buying or the potential house you're selling do have something to do with cannabis notify your real estate agent talk to him about it give me a call write me an email drop me a text I'm easily available right so that we could discuss your options and of course I as a professional would be able to Deep, dig deep into and, and try to find out whether you staying there is safe for you, whether you buying there is safe for you or not. And then accordingly, we take that step. Well, on that note, I just wanted to put that point out to you guys. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the year, the 2018 that we have, still the few days that are left. Until next time, take care and stay blessed. Mm -hmm.